absolutely amazing news from nvidia and adobe premiere as we see triple the speed on our encodes shout out to scott balcom who let me know that this is coming in the next release check this out the hardware integration from adobe is finally working in their new beta product h264 and h265 exports are going to be way way faster especially for red users and anyone who's exporting an H.264 and H.265. It utilizes the NVIDIA chip and takes a lot of the pressure off of your CPU to make sure that your encodes and decodes are much, much faster. Let's see what that means. So how do you download this beta version until they release the stable version? <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Uh, right here in your Adobe Creative Cloud, go down to beta apps, which has a little beaker to let you know that it's in beta form, a little scientific experiment. Now, let's be honest though, everything's in beta form when it comes from Adobe. Anyways, right here, if you don't have it installed, you would just click the install button and it'll pop up with this tiny little icon like this, showing you that it's still in the planning phases. So it's gonna be less stable for certain but if you want to if you want to use it to export some of your files, test it out, you can see it's coming. Let's get into it. Hey guys, it's Adam Grumble here. We're checking out version 14.2 of Adobe Premiere, which is said to have hardware acceleration for H.264 and H.265 exporting. And since those are the only things I use to export, it could improve my workflow speed up to 200% faster for exporting. So what we're going to do here is do a quick test on one minute of 8K red raw 60 frames per second footage. One using hardware acceleration, which means it's using the GPU to increase the rendering speed, hardware encoding. And one on the current version of Adobe Premiere and see which one's faster. All right, let's check it out. Here's my CPU usage. This is Intel's i9-9980XE, which is the fastest consumer one that they have, 18 cores. Using about 30% CPU. Let's look at the GPU now. This is the uh, RTX 2080 Ti, and it is cranking along at 50 to 60% which usually doesn't even get utilized. So we're taking a lot of stress off the CPU and bringing it over to the GPU. All right, we're done with our encoding. Encode time. Seven minutes and 25 seconds for 60 seconds of 8K 60p video. Let's open the same project and see how long it takes with the current version of Premiere Pro. Current version right now is 14.1. There it is, here we go. Let's check out our usage, our CPU, still chilling around 13%, or 30, still chilling around 30%. And our GPU, it's not doing much. As far as video encoding, it's doing nothing. And CPU is hanging at about 50%. At long last, we are done. 
8K Woods 3, exporting at 8K 60 frames a second. Took us 21 minutes and 45 seconds. Three times as fast with this new Adobe. We're still in beta mode, but it works real time. Um, I had this exporting to an NVMe drive for the fastest uh, exporting I could get with a huge resolution at a high frame rate. So I was really pushing it. And uh, again, we're using the Intel i9 Extreme Edition. This is the highest um, desktop processor that they make with the RTX 2080 Ti, which is, uh, this is a 12 gig version, or 11 gig version. And um, really, really impressed. I cannot wait till this happens. And I might even be using it now to export because that three times speed export, that's insane. That is insane. That is game changing. That's going to save me a lot of time on my exports. This means that I can't take a full lunch break waiting for something to export. I'm going to be doing a lot, a lot more productivity. Thank you, Adobe, for finally integrating it. Thank you, Red Digital Cinema, for pushing this along. Super, super excited. Yay for NVIDIA. Talk to you guys in the next one.